Hello everyone, my name is Lila from the Edison Public Library and I'm here today to show you some spooky crafts for Halloween. Uh, so today we are going to be making a spiderweb hoop. Uh, so this is a very easy Halloween craft that will look great. Uh, it's very elegant and you can switch it up to be year round. So let's get into the supplies you're gonna need. So for this craft, you're going to need an embroidery hoop. Uh, these run for pretty cheap. Uh, I was able to get them at Michael's for between a dollar and two dollars, depending on the size. Uh, you're going to need some black paint, some spiders, and some of those spider webs that you'll use for decorations during uh, Halloween. Uh, you can also switch that out with some lace if you want to. Uh, but the spider webs are just a little bit of a cheaper option. They're perfect for the holiday. Um, but if you want to keep this for year round, I highly recommend the lace. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to take your embroidery hoop. Uh, and we're just going to loosen the top just so we can separate out the second ring. So all embroidery hoops come with a second ring uh, in order to pull the fabric that you're using over. Uh, so that will later be our uh, spider webs. But for now, we just wanna make these embroidery hoops look a little more spooky. So we're going to take our black paint and our separated embroidery hoop and just start painting it. So you're gonna keep going with this until it is completely black with, uh, for both hoops. But again, you can do whatever colors you want. Uh, you can keep it brown if you want. And if you do wanna keep it brown, you can skip ahead in the video uh, and just go right ahead to me putting the spider webs in. So I'm going to keep going with this and I'll see you guys in a bit. So now that your embroidery hoop is all dry, uh, you are just going to disconnect uh, this little silver part at the top uh, so you can start putting in whatever decorations you want. So. For instance, I'm going to do, start with the spider webs just because we're in the Halloween season. Now, the spider webs I have are pretty long, so I don't need this whole thing, so I'm just gonna cut it just a tiny bit. Because of the material that the spider webs are made out of, it's fairly easy to cut if you need to. Now, this type of material is also super stretchy, so. What you're going to do is you're going to take your inside hoop and start putting your spider webs around it. Again, it's super stretchy, so you can put the spider webs however you want. You can cut off more if you need to. I might end up having to do that. But just look how spooky that's already looking. It's getting really in the Halloween spirit if we really want to. And again, later I'm going to be showing you other options uh, such as uh, lace if you if you would like to use that. So now that I have it on my inside hoop, I'm gonna take a peek and see if there needs more cutting. I think there is. There's a little bit of a need for a little more cutting. So we're just gonna trim that. Stick it inside the hoop and just make sure that it's staying the way you want it to. So I'm just gonna spread it out. Now, the tightening enclosure, the tightening enclosure, uh, this little enclosure uh, should be able to close everything together now. So now that you have your spider webs on there, uh, stick that through there and just tighten it because this is going to be a very loose material and you don't want it falling out. So tighten it real good. And this gives you time to make adjustments. For instance, I just noticed that there's a little bit falling out here, so I'm going to loosen that just a tiny bit, just so I can stretch the spider web just a little more and make sure that it's covering everything. Because again, you want to completely cover the inside hoop. And also make sure there's no spider webs getting in the way because these things are sticky. They are super sticky. And again, if you need to, feel free to cut the spider webs. 
and just make sure that your interior hoop is staying within the barrier. I'm just gonna tighten that one more time. There we go. And just be careful because you don't want spiderwebs getting into your enclosure like it just did for me. That was a mistake on my part, but that's okay. We can work with it. So now that you have your spider web in there, you can just start trimming. Because again, unless you want to make this into something different than your usual spider web, like you can turn this into a ghastly uh, witch or whatever you want. But for my purposes, I'm just going to trim a little more. And we'll trim a little bit on this side as well. And we'll keep the rest just because I think it makes it look a little intriguing. And now you just stick your spiders in there. And you have some lovely Halloween decor. So I'll also show you how to uh, another version of this that has lace. Uh, so I'll see you guys in just a bit. So once everything is dried, uh, you're just going to loosen this piece and stretch over the fabric that you want to use. Uh, so like I showed you previously with the spider webs, this is pretty easy. Uh, if you want to do it with lace instead, like I did here, that's also a possibility. It's all, it's just a little more difficult to get into the embroidery hoop. Um, I'm not sure if you can really see the spiders in there. But it's just something nice that you can hang up for Halloween. Uh, if you choose to do the lace, you can take out the spiders and just have it uh, year round if you wanted to. And it just makes for a lovely decoration. So I hope you enjoyed this craft and we'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.